Lee met Erna before I met Erna. And uh, I mean, that when, when Lee and I were married, there was a lot of press, and, and, uh, and the wedding was covered, it was, and it was, uh, it was covered heavily on television, and, and not because of me, but because of Lee. And we had a, uh, uh, and, it, and it, was, it was after that, really, that, that things happened, uh, you know, with, with the connection with Erna, and, uh, and Erna finally wanting to know more about this guy that, that, uh, that this woman decided to marry. What's he all about? First of all, Erna never answered a door. Rose Cooperman, her secretary, did. So you would go in and you would wait and you'd sit at her card table there. It was a very luxurious card table, but it was a card table with four chairs. And, and uh, so then you'd sit and wait. And then there was the one ashtray there because Erna spoke uh, quite heavily back then. And, um, and then pretty soon, you could hear a, a, a movement coming down the corridor, and, uh, and, and you waited, and you waited, and it was almost like building an aura of suspense there, and suddenly she emerged. And I had never seen her in person before. And see, I'm looking up like this, but then I have to look down. She's, she's a very short lady. And, uh, and uh, she said hello, and uh, she was very friendly and cordial, and, uh, and I got up, and she sat down at the card table. I sat down at the card table, and uh, and we just talked, and uh, uh, getting to know one another quite a bit. And uh, and we, uh, she, Lee was our comedy dominator initially, and then ultimately, ultimately, she or I made the. I think it was she. I was smart enough not to take the initiative. Uh, she made the initiative. She made the uh, transition to guiding light, and uh, and and uh, suggested that I take an outline and and write it up and, and uh, as a sample script. 